We had an awesome year of farming, but also a lot of uh, employee training and a lot of agronomic findings that we found which were really, really interesting. Great opportunity to showcase some of the new technology from John Deere. We got to start with using our lead planter. This year is a 1795 um, exact emerge with all the bells and whistles, such as central tire inflation, uh, frame weight distribution, implement guidance, SFRTK. And on that farm, we got to do some awesome employee training. We planted corn and beans. That planter was really, really handy this year. We got to switch between those two crops pretty easily and even switch between um, 30 inch beans and 15 inch beans. Frame weight distribution, it mechanically is, is a hydraulic cylinder between uh, right underneath the CCS, kind of the, the first section of the frame, uh, the wing frames, pushing it down. So you kind of charge that system as soon as you click it on from the cab, moves hydraulic pressure to uh, push down on those frame, on that wing frame. Going over to the central tire inflation, we were lucky enough, this planter has uh, active pneumatic uh, closing wheels. So it already has a onboard compressor. So you're actually just tie into that system and it moves air from there to the uh, valves on the tire that it can deflate and inflate as it needs. When we look at central tire inflation, so we're, we're adjusting the uh, pressure in the in the center wheel modules on the planter between row or infield pressure and on the road pressure. So we were running those, I think Graham at 41 PSI in the field and 62 or so on the, on the road. So the system would automatically, uh, 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 we're able to change those pressures as we get to the farm. And then again, before we leave the farm. So the concept there is to, um, lessen the impact of pinch rows from the, from the weight of that uh, 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 central seed supply and everything in the center of the planter and get that footprint on those tires down to uh, equal to what the uh, ones in the, on the wings are. And that's going to impact the plant growth uh, later in season. It's uh, more to do with how the roots develop in those pinch rows throughout the season based on the impact from the planter itself. So. We tried even before we went to the field to quantify the value of frame weight distribution. So it's a hydraulic cylinder, which moves, as Greg mentioned, um, some of the weight away from that CCS tank from the center of that uh, planter where it's most heavy. As you see here, this is how we laid out our trials. It would randomly skip passes of the treatments, try to get different zones in the field, different yield potential or fertility in that field. Really neat um, experience using Deere's system called Agronomy Analyzer to kind of set up those trials and then bring that data back in. And we had Eric from OK Tire in Elmira come out and actually uh, weigh that planter. We did it with it completely empty and completely full of seed and 400 gallons of, of liquid starter fertilizer. Um, and that data proved really interesting even before we went to the field. We almost proved that it moves almost 2,000 pounds from the total weight of the center of it over onto the wings. Ideally, you would want complete evenness of weight on those tires across that whole planter to help with that center row compaction. As you see here, it wasn't just the yield. We tried to uh, collect as much data early on. We did compaction testing using a potentiometer every three inches, went across that row to see what the PSI of compaction was on those pinch rows. Another metric we use was uh, average root mass weight. As Greg explains, that's a good uh, good form of kind of how healthy that crop is, how much root is it growing because roots don't grow through lots of compaction. And that's what we we're trying to do was mitigate the compaction between the rows. And as you see here, we even got some pictures of the difference between central tire inflation, everything off, and then everything on, frame weight distribution on and central tire inflation on. And, and you can see here that the roots look a little bit more healthy. They're a lot wider, a lot more root mass that we did weigh that equaled these numbers here. In the end, on that planter, kind of what, what matters was the overall yield. We did bring that planter to two other off-site locations just to verify our findings so it wasn't just on one soil type. Um, and in the end, on that planter with central tire inflation on and frame weight distribution on, it actually equaled a eight bushel difference for that in corn at three different sites replicated every few, uh, every few passes. So that was a really neat finding for us, showed the agronomic value of these it's actually a puck system, precision upgrade um, from John Deere on that planter. So that was a really neat finding we found in our localized Ontario market. We did a little bit of rough farmer math here and at 
$5.29 per bushel per acre. That's $23 per acre increase on, on revenue because of that yield increase. When you look at the two technologies, we've got central tire inflation system, which I think impacts the plant maybe later in the season, typically, depending on soil conditions. The frame weight distribution is better, um, probably impacts more the emergence of the crop, right? Because so every row on across that planter is pushing against the same the same weight as without that system, the centers, the wings can tend to ride up a little bit. So we get we get better seed placement with frame weight distribution.